Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we will talk about this guy. His name was Najmedin and he would serve the Kurdish struggle as a Peshmerga. In time, Najmedin would leave a big legendary name after himself and today a legend around him circulates where he is known as Mama Risha. Before we start this video, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and hit the subscribe button in order to not miss any further videos on this channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram where we regularly upload pictures of Kurdistan and news about this channel. Through our Instagram, you can also vote on which video you want us to do next time. So go ahead and search for everything about Kurdistan and follow us right now. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. We start our journey in the Kurdish city of Kirkuk, which is located in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. The year is 1957 and Kirkuk is at the time under Iraqi control. The city has for a long time been disputed between Arabs, Kurds and Turkmens, but has a larger Kurdish majority in the city. In the year of 1957, a boy was born just outside of Kirkuk in the village of Taliban. This special boy was named Najmedin and was raised in a poor family. During his childhood, Najbuddin quickly experienced the oppression from the Ba'ath party towards the Kurdish people. The Ba'ath party was the ruling party of Baghdad, which can be described as an ultra-fan of Arabic nationalism. One of their main goals is to introduce a unification of the whole Arab world into one single state. Now, if you would like a special video about the Ba'ath party and its inner ideology and history, make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, this goal of the Ba'ath party comes with a problem, especially in Iraq, which has such a mixed population. In the early 1970s, when Najmedin was a young boy, the Ba'athist party's Arabization campaign of Iraqi-occupied Kurdistan was introduced. During the coming years, over 800 Kurdish villages were burned down and over 100,000 Kurds were deported from Kirkuk to other areas of Iraq. Totally, at least 250,000 Kurds were deported from different Kurdish areas and replaced by Arabs in order to make Arabs a majority in strategic important places such as the oil-rich city of Kirkuk. Now, Najmati never attended school since the school alternatives were limited in the village he grew up in. Instead, when Najmati was 18 years old, he joined the PUK which was led by Jalal Talabani. In 1982, when Najmatin was 25 years old, he became the commander of Karti Chwar, which were a band of the PUK Peshmerga. It was now when his Peshmerga band started to call him Mama Risha, which in Kurdish means Uncle Beard, since he swore to not shave his beard before the liberation of Kurdistan. That name was soon spread among the Kurdish society, and Mama Risha became recognized for his bravery, courage, sincerity, and fairness. The legend of Mama Risha is great, all from myths to real stories circulates. In the biography of Najmedin, written by one of his colleagues within Karti Chwa, it is described how a group of 12 Peshmerga fighters were surrounded by around 100 from the Iraqi army. Now, according to the biography, the Peshmerga fighters, only armed with AK-47s, fought against the Iraqis who had both mortars and helicopters. The moral was low among Karti Chwar, but Mama Risha gathered his group to motivate them. One of the Peshmerga fighters said, I'm sure this is the moment when we all end up as martyrs. Do you think anyone will remember us? Mama Risha said, We are not here to be remembered. We are Peshmerga, which means that we will be ready to put our lives at risk for our country. I've said it many times. Peshmerga means being unselfish. It means being ready to die for our rights and our people. If anyone thinks about surrendering, then do it now rather than later. But nobody left Mama Risha and they all fought bravely. That day, Kharti Chwar lost a few of its fighters, while many Iraqi soldiers were killed among a few of Kurdish Jash units. Under Mamarisha's leadership, Karti Chwar became the most effective force of the PUK. His mental strength as well as his physical strength, stamina and speed gave him a near-mythical status in the Kurdish society. Among many myths, 
it is said that he destroyed a tank alone with his AK-47. In his biography, it is also said that Mama Risha loved to visit kids at school and talk with them about the Kurdish struggle. The reason for this is because Najmadin himself didn't attend school as young. At one famous occasion, it is said that Mama Risha asked the kids, what do you want to become when you grow up? One children responded, a doctor. Another said, a teacher. Mama Risha answered, good. And which post would you give me when Kurdistan is liberated from Arabs? One children said, you will be our leader, of course. Mama Risha smiled and said, thank you, but I won't take that opportunity. Do you know why? The children was curious and said, No, tell us uncle. Mamarisha said, The leader of Kurdistan should have a good education from school. I am nothing more than a soldier for my country. And this is why you all have to stay in school to become what you desire. Because the liberation of Kurdistan is not only made by guns, but also with education. As a leader of Kartichwar, Mamarisha became good at spreading moral among his group. With his ability to organize and prepare battles and ambushes, he succeeded many times in what usually would be an impossible task. Another speculation among the Kurds is about the death of Mamarisha. The most accepted version is the one of Tahsin Shaways the Josh member of PUK who with Iraqi cooperation set up an ambush against Mamarisha, resulting in the death of Mamarisha who at the time were 27 years old. The version of Tahsin is also seen as the official one since it is mentioned in the biography of Mamarisha. Other speculations are often regarded as conspiracies. It is said that with his death, Mamarisha took over 200 Iraqi soldiers with him during his seven years of service in Peshmerga. Up until today, Mama Risha is remembered as a hero for the Kurdish struggle for independence. Basha? 
برادران باش جو بگرن خو تربین ک چوار دوری اوایی به جای شو جاش گیرا و رگی چونه درو مانیه یا نو تا به شرط کی نو دوش من بزینین یا نو تا به خین مان لگل ام خاکه یا کی کلاو گیت و شهید بی کاتی نه درو به همو تان متوا لفیش برگاتیا دستو قاچ فرانن ها شهید بون ها بلام هر جی تسلیم بون نیا چه تسلیم برد با استابرو با ولی بلادر کانی نروخه با قربانی خیلی تلف بود. من از آنها تسلیم بودن لام بدی کس تانیه. روش یک او امر رو. همون کرد شاوری ایوه سری برست کن او. ابیم رو دوش من بزنه که پیش مرگ چیه؟ چی تانیه کم؟ همیشه باسی او من کردوا کشی بودن شرفا. امر رو توانی نو شرفا بد از بینو کرد دوستان فخر من پیو بکات. ابیم رو بیست میانین که دو انصا پیش مرگ لحم ک برام بر او جیش از بالا حی دوش من چه چند دانه او. تا دو تنو کی خون مقاومت کرد راست دوشمن به هزه کی زبلاح چن هزار کسی لجی شو چارش و خفروش و چوار دوری گرتوی بلان ایم کی حساب من بو هزی زوری دوشمن کدوا کی حساب من بو کدوا حالا رش یا خمر ریشا یا نو کو شرکای تو سرکو تو بین یا لی راه خو منین بکوش هم او شرانه للایک ام شرانه للایک ام شر زور جا وازا ایم جاران هل ما نکته سر مالگی چی دوش منو دست مالی و شانو اکشای نوا بلام ام جاره توق کلامی رنگا ام شر دریا جب کیشه بوی آبی شری مانو نمان کی با قربان تندم استادو دو سیاسی با آواهی که توزیم دست با فیش کار بکن دست با آو بکن آه بیرون نچه به تامبل چون هر چیو یک دیوار کنی نیوان تر کل کن، بوی بتوان چاو تان دیگر تر بیه، بوی آگا تان دیگر تر بیه و یک تر غافل نکن. دیاستا من دلیام لغیره تو لجوامیری ایوا. دیاستاش خیراش یه خودت قایم کن. دی با قربان تام بم. As we said in the beginning of this clip, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the follow button on Instagram and communicate more with us on social medias. Links are in the description box below.